Have you ever wondered why you think the way you do? Guess what, the ancient Greek philosopher Socrates might have the answers you've been seeking. Today we're diving deep into the philosophy behind self-reflection. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to get lost in the rush. But what if there's a way to make sense of it all? Now, we're not suggesting you start wearing a toga and sipping on wine, but we'll take you on a journey back to ancient Athens where it all began. I'm genuinely excited about this and I believe you will be too, so are you ready to see the world through the eyes of Socrates? But why is self-reflection so important? Why did Socrates advocate for it? Well, dear thinkers, consider this. If you aim to be a painter, you study color, form and light. If your passion is music, you delve into notes, rhythm and harmony. So, if your quest is to understand life, to truly thrive as a human being, wouldn't it make sense to first understand yourself? The power of self-reflection lies in its ability to unmask our illusions, to reveal who we truly are beneath the veneer of societal expectations. It's about seeing ourselves not as the world wants us to be, but as we truly are. It's about breaking free from the constraints of should and must, and venturing towards me and I am. Yet, Socratic self-reflection isn't about narcissistic self-absorption. It isn't a passport to a land of ego. Instead, it's a means to foster intellectual humility, an antidote to the arrogance of presumed knowledge. The same Socrates who said, know thyself, also declared, I know one thing that I know nothing. This paradox might seem perplexing, but stay with me. Self-reflection makes us aware of our limitations, our biases, our blind spots. It makes us better decision makers, communicators and above all better humans. When we shed light on our inner shadows we begin to see the world more clearly. We start understanding that everyone is fighting a battle we know nothing about. This understanding engenders empathy and promotes personal growth. As we dig deeper, I'd like to gently remind you to like this video and subscribe to The Rational Mind. Don't forget to activate notifications so you never miss the wisdom we distill in each episode. Trust me, this journey of introspection is only getting started. You won't want to miss what's next. So how do we practice self-reflection in a world that often encourages shallowness over depth, noise over silence? How do we channel Socrates in our everyday lives? The answer, fellow seekers, is simpler than you might think. Start by giving yourself the gift of solitude. Yes, you heard that right. Solitude isn't about isolation. It's about making space for your thoughts to breathe. In the clamor of life, it's easy to ignore our inner voice, to put off self-exploration for another day. But in the quiet realm of solitude, we can tune into our hearts, listen to our desires and fears, and align ourselves with our core values. Once you have found your peaceful sanctuary, it's time for the Socratic method, a timeless technique that has stood the test of time. This method, also known as dialectic or Socratic questioning, involves asking incisive, open-ended questions. But remember, it's not about quick answers. It's about understanding the process of thinking, seeing the gaps in our logic and getting comfortable with ambiguity. Ask yourself, why do I hold certain beliefs? What triggers my anger or anxiety? What are my strengths and weaknesses? Am I living in alignment with my values? As you dig deeper, you might face some uncomfortable truths, but remember, true transformation is born from the crucible of discomfort. The key is to be honest, to not shy away from the rough edges of your psyche, to embrace vulnerability as a catalyst for change. But here's the crucial point. Practicing self-reflection is not a one-off event, an item to be checked off your self-improvement to-do list. It's an ongoing process, a committed relationship with your inner self. It's about nurturing a habit of introspection, of regular self-dates where you dive into the depths of your soul, unflinching and unafraid. So far, we've touched upon the importance of self-reflection and how to practice it. But hold on to your seats, thinkers, because in the next segment, we will delve into the profound impact of self-reflection on personal success, relationships, and overall well-being. The insight we are about to share is the distilled wisdom of countless philosophers and successful individuals, a goldmine you definitely don't want to overlook. We've arrived at the heart of our voyage, the tangible, life-altering impact of self-reflection. You might be wondering, Sure, self-reflection sounds profound, but how can it change my life in practical terms? Let's tackle this intriguing question together. Think about it. How often do you find yourself reacting impulsively to situations, swept away by the tides of emotions only to regret it later? How often do you feel disconnected from your own decisions, as though you're living someone else's life? This, dear viewers, is where self-reflection can revolutionize your existence. Self-reflection promotes self-awareness, the bedrock of emotional intelligence. When you understand your emotions, you can manage them better. Instead of reacting impulsively, you respond mindfully. You begin to see your life as a grand chessboard, where you're not just a pawn moved by circumstances, but the strategist, consciously making each move. Moreover, self-reflection can improve your relationships, paving the way for deeper connections. When you understand yourself, you comprehend others better. You learn to listen, not just with your ears, but with your heart. You start perceiving the world from multiple perspectives, fostering empathy and reducing conflict. 
and what about personal success? The drive to succeed is common to us all, especially young adult males eager to carve out their paths. By reflecting on your goals, values and passions, you can align your actions towards meaningful success. Not the fleeting kind, defined by external standards, but the lasting, fulfilling kind that comes from actualizing your potential, from becoming the best version of yourself. As Socrates proclaimed, an unexamined life is not worth living. This might sound harsh, but consider its essence. Isn't it better to live a life of conscious choice rather than one of unconscious habit? Isn't it more fulfilling to live in alignment with our values, to make decisions that resonate with our core selves? We are nearing the climax of this intellectual journey. Our next segment is an empowering reflection on how embracing Socratic self-reflection can liberate us from the shackles of societal norms and help us craft our own definitions of success and fulfillment. Don't leave just yet, you're about to uncover the greatest treasure within you, your authentic self. Stay tuned. We have navigated the waters of self-reflection, understood its value and how to practice it, but the highest reward is yet to be unveiled. Brace yourself as we delve into the concept of authenticity, the crowning glory of self-reflection. In a world where we're constantly bombarded with messages of fit in, be like this or do that, embracing our authenticity can feel like a daunting task. But as Socrates showed us, self-reflection offers us the compass to navigate the labyrinth of societal pressures and expectations. It provides us with the courage to say, this is who I am, and to stand firm in that declaration. Self-reflection illuminates our unique strengths, our passions, our deepest desires. It allows us to be true to ourselves, to wear our authenticity like a badge of honor. In a sea of conformity, it empowers us to be the unique wave standing tall and proud. Imagine living a life where every decision, every action emanates from your authentic core. Imagine the exhilaration of becoming the author of your destiny, not just a character in someone else's story. That's the power of self-reflection, the gift of knowing thyself. As we conclude this enlightening journey, remember that the key to unlocking your fullest potential lies within you, in your capacity for self-reflection. This is not the end, but the beginning of your personal exploration. Continue this journey, not only through our future episodes, but also in your daily life. If this deep dive into self-reflection has sparked a flame within you, remember there are many more enlightening videos in our channel, The Rational Mind. Our commitment is to guide you in your quest to become the best version of yourself using philosophy as a beacon. So don't forget to share this video with fellow seekers because wisdom when shared multiplies. Thank you for staying with us throughout this philosophical exploration. As always, keep questioning, keep reflecting and keep growing. This is The Rational Mind, signing off until our next intellectual adventure. Stay curious, thinkers.